Hey everyone, this is Michael again, and this is just going to be a quick little video. Uh, basically, I want to talk about is you know the big news that was released uh, in this past Thursday night, uh, which a lot of people are talking about, and that is the you know Ben Affleck is going to be playing Batman in Man of Steel 2 with Superman and Batman, and a lot of people when this news was released, a lot of people have been shitting on this. You know this news. Uh, ninety, I'd say ninety percent of the people that saw this news around the world are shitting on this. You know this news, saying, "Oh, Ben Affleck, what a wrong decision to cast him as Batman." Uh, you know, take him. You know, drop him from playing Batman. You know, there's petitions going out uh, that people are, you know, sending to Warner Brothers, saying, "Oh, please drop him from playing Batman." And you know what? to all these people you haven't even seen the movie yet you know you can't judge by a casting choice if you see the movie and if if you see the movie and if you were disappointed in his in uh, the acting then you would say you know that it was miscast but you, you know what you guys like I said you gotta see the movie for yourself when it gets released in 2015 so uh, my opinion on Ben Affleck playing Batman, I think it's good. Uh, I do enjoy, uh, do like Ben Affleck. Uh, I like his Daredevil, Matt Murdock, you know, in the Daredevil movie, which I know a lot of people shit on that also. A lot of people shit on his Daredevil character, and you know what? It wasn't. I liked it. It wasn't that. It wasn't that bad. I mean, uh, I enjoy. Like I said, I enjoy Daredevil. I prefer the 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 uh, director's cut over the theatrical version, but I do like both versions. But like I said, the, the director's cut is way much better, way much better, and I prefer that over the theatrical cut. Uh, but yeah, you know, I enjoy, like I said, Ben Affleck's Daredevil. Which I know a lot of people, like I said, don't enjoy his Daredevil, and it's too bad that Ben Affleck. You know, he he hates uh, the movie and hates his portrayal of Daredevil when you look back on it, which is, which kind of sucks. And you know what? He also has a job in uh, in directing. You know, I liked his film that he did called uh, Gone Baby Gone uh, with Morgan Freeman in it and his this is his brother Casey Affleck think it is yeah his brother Casey Affleck uh, yeah Ed Harris in it uh, it was just a good movie he directed and produced and wrote the, the movie uh, which still have to get on the uh, DVD or blu-ray because I really like on baby gone I mean he also directed the town which I didn't see which I heard a lot of good things about and uh, Argo, uh, which won Best Picture uh, this year, uh, which he directed also, which I haven't seen, but I do want to check out that movie. But, you know, just give Ben Affleck a chance and, you know, don't judge it until you see the movie. Uh, that's my words. I mean, I know a lot of people say, oh, when the trail when a trailer is released, you know, you're going to be like, Oh, this is gonna suck, and you know I do that sometimes because I could I could tell, uh, you know, by the acting, and you know how it looks, though. But like I said, give Ben Affleck the chance as Batman. Maybe he'll pull it off. And uh, you know this news, this is how probably uh when Michael Keaton was chose to play Batman and uh, Tim Burton's Batman in '89, a lot of people were. You know, shin on Michael Keaton saying, Oh, Mr. Mom is going to be playing Batman, Beetlejuice. But look, and look what Mike, look at Michael Keaton in Batman 89. Was good as Batman and Bruce Wayne. And even uh, when The Dark Knight was being filmed, uh, Heat Ledger, a lot of people shin on Heat Ledger before The Dark Knight came out, saying, Boo, as you know, as Joker. 
and came out, saw the movie. Everybody praises Heath Ledger as the Joker. One of his best performances. You know, Heath Ledger is a great actor. You know, may he rest in peace. But that was his best performance as a Joker. But, you know what? Give, like I said, give Ben Affleck the chance as Batman. Uh, maybe he could pull it off. But, you know, I think it's a good choice that Ben Affleck's going to play uh, Batman. Uh, so, yeah, so that's it for this video. Uh, I want to hear uh, what you guys think of this uh, choice uh, for Ben Affleck playing Batman. You know, like I said, I'd like to hear what you all think of it. And until the next video, uh, thank you all for watching. And until the next video, I'll see you all later.